Fox 59 is your local election headquarters. We're less than two months out from the November election. Absentee ballot applications are now showing up unsolicited in mailboxes across the state. The Marion County Clerk's Office confirms they are now received calls from voters about this. Tonight, we take voters' questions right to election experts. Fox 59's Courtney Crown live in the newsroom. Courtney, what should we know about these unsolicited applications? Well, Dan, it is legal for the parties to do this. After all, both parties want as many voters as possible to vote for their candidate. We also talked about unsolicited text messages you may receive as well. Some voters across the state are receiving these absentee ballot applications without asking for one. Of course, both political parties are very interested in making sure that they have people register with their party and people that are voting for their party. Marion County Deputy Director Russell Hollis confirms this is legal. We are appreciative of the parties uh, working to increase voter turnout by sending absentee applications to voters. Beginning Monday, the Hamilton County Clerk's Office plans to begin processing absentee ballot applications. 25,000 applications have come in so far. Marion County's received roughly 40,000. Even if you fill out two applications and happen to vote in person and via mail, your vote counts once. Now, if you were to send in an absentee ballot and vote in person, you can't vote twice, right? they would throw out whichever ballot they got second. So the first one they get is what they would count, the second one they wouldn't. By now, you might have even received unsolicited texts, too, urging you to register to vote. Hollis says there's no concern with those, particularly regarding interference. Whether it's the text messages that are unsolicited or even the, the um, mailers that they've received, it's, it's legit in terms of the link that they are being sent to. As for getting an absentee ballot, the deadline is October 22nd, but Hollis says do not wait. I would strongly encourage voters to uh, return those applications to the election board much sooner than that. Well, in, in, in Indiana, you must still select one of 12 reasons why you need to vote absentee instead of in person. COVID-19 is not one of those reasons. By the way, you have until October the 5th to register to vote. Live in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News.